Thank you for choosing to stay with KUTV News at 9. We resume with news that a number of Kenyans are battling with eye problems ranging from blindness, severe visual impairment, and moderate visual impairment. Currently, an estimated 224,000 people are blind, while another 750,000 are visually impaired. Our reporter Nancy Ochido visited Richard Geshagwa and Winnie Wanjogu, who both live with visual impairment, and gathered us the following story on the daily hustle of the duo despite their conditions. Some of the leading causes of chronic blindness include cataract, glaucoma, age-related degeneration, diabetes, trachoma, and eye conditions in children, for example, that are caused by vitamin A deficiency. Richard Gachagwa, a resident of Kariobangi North, lost his eyesight at childhood. He is visually impaired. The course of his condition is not easy to comprehend since he claims that his condition resulted after he ailed from measles. <laughs> An effort by a team from the Kenya Red Cross to avert his predicament were to no avail. <laughs> Despite his condition, he sailed through his education journey and pursued his dream profession, teaching. <laughs> He used brails and typewriters to aid him in writing notes for himself and typing assignments for students respectively. Upon his retirement, Richard, together with his wife, indulged in cake baking as a source of income. Their main customers are residents of Kariobangi and people from the nearby vicinity. Richard points out that he helps in offering civic education to the residents as an elder, for example, during elections. <laughs> Winnie Wanjogu, on the other hand, suffered visual impairment at the age of six months as a result of hydrocephalus, a condition in which excess cerebrospinal fluid builds up within the ventricles of the brain and may increase pressure within the head. She visited several hospitals, but despite the very many surgeries she underwent, she ended up having visual impairment. I have gone to, through several hospitals for eye surgery, eye operations, like Kenyatta Hospital, Aga Khan Hospital, where the head operation took place, and also Nairobi Hospital. And finally, the last hospital where I, was, I went is Kikuyu Hospital. Winnie gives thanks to East Assembly KAG Buruburu Church, which has not only been there for her, but also have granted her a job opportunity through which she earns a living. She works as a cleaner in the church. According to the World Health Organization, 82% of people living with blindness are age 50 and above. 285 million people are estimated to be visually impaired worldwide. 39 million are blind and 246 have low vision. Nancy Ochido, KUTV.